Hey, this is Destiny from Fate of Destiny. And this is the Ruger GP100. I don't know if you can catch that squeaky cylinder, but this is a rental gun and uh, in need of a little bit of love. But every time I pulled the trigger, it went bang, so it worked for what I was going for. <laughs> 158 grain, jacketed hollow point, 357 magnum rounds. With how hard it is to get a hold of ammo right now, I try to make the most of every range trip. So what that means for me is I like to mix in a little bit of training with a little bit of fun shooting, and I try to shoot more than one firearm. Of course I want to practice with my main concealed carry pieces, just to get that muscle memory down so I can feel confident in how I handle them. But I also like to try something new. So with how many videos I have on Smith & Wesson real guns, I thought it was time to show Ruger revolvers a little bit of love. So I rented this GP100 and decided to do a little bit of training with uh, shooting with the light as well as um, working on controlled pairs, firing in rapid succession. I like this technique for holding the light because keeping it up with my, against my face means I don't have to think too much about where the gun is aiming, where I'm looking, and where the light is pointing. They're all in the same direction. I also, I also like it because it illuminates the sights of the firearm as well as the target beyond it. That's one of the techniques that I learned when an Elzetta sent me to their sponsor training event at the American Institute of Marksmanship in Casey, Kentucky last October. They also recommend that when you use this technique to um, move, well, move from side to side away from where you were shooting when you turn the light off after you finished firing. Because as you illuminate your target with the light, it also serves to, as an indicator from their direction of where you're shooting. I didn't uh, work on that technique during this shooting exercise, partly because I'm, you know, in the lane and it's a little difficult, but... <sighs> Those uh, 38s are a lot gentler than the 357, but both kinds are fun to shoot. But working on the other exercises of uh, shooting and control pairs and um, rapid firing, my goal was to work on lining up the sights just enough that I can get my rounds on target without taking a lot of time to think about it. That's fun. Whether it's 38 Special or 357 Magnum, I enjoy shooting each for uh, 38 is great for my practice. Uh, training like this is because it's low recoiling, it's gentle, and it's cheaper. But the 357 is fun, so I can't not shoot both. One of the things I like to do with making the most of my range trips is to do some training, but also to do some fun stuff, like shooting at a zombie target and renting a gun that I haven't fired before. I only have two rounds left, so I'm going to try to make them fun ones. I'm going to try and put them... Two zombie headshots as he's slowly lumbering towards me. We'll see if I can take And by giving tracks. myself challenges like this. Keep shooting fun. Looks like we have mission success. One red on top of the other, right in the nose. I think that is uh, an effectively deactivated zombie. <laughs> 